What's going on, everyone? This is Jacob. Welcome back to my channel. I would like to start a new series of video introducing my new project, which is building a DIY drone. On this drone, I will use Autopilot or PixHawk as my flight controller, and use OpenHD as my control system. I will introduce them one by one. As you can see in the background, this is basically how my drone will look like. So if you are interested in this kind of content, please like my video and subscribe to my channel so that you will not miss other interesting content. Let's get started. Let me first briefly introduce Autopilot system. It is an open source Autopilot system supporting many vehicle types like multi-rotors, traditional helicopters, fixed-wing aircraft, boats, submarines, rovers, and more. It is initially developed from Arduino hardware, so this is how the name Autopilot came from. Newer hardwares like PixHawk and PixHawk 2 has more features than the previous versions. So in my project, I will use a relatively cheaper PixHawk 1 as my flight controller. It will be the brain of my drone. But normally, you also need some media to communicate with your drone in the air. Typically, you need to use RC control, video transmission system, and telemetry system, which is quite expensive and heavy. Thus, I want to introduce to you OpenHD, an open source project that aims to provide long distance of real-time video transmission. Not only this, it also has bidirectional UAV telemetry, RC control functions. It even has a custom mobile app called QOpenHD for you to see the drone videos and telemetry data. In other words, OpenHD has almost everything you need in a single system. You don't need the traditional systems like devices on the right. Not only this, OpenHD system can sometimes achieve over 10 km transmission distance depending on your need. Anyway, let's see how it works at a high level. Of course, you need some hardware to build OpenHD system. The only additional hardware you need is two Raspberry Pis and two Wi-Fi adapters. OpenHD builds a two-way communication between your drone and your ground station. One Raspberry Pi is called AirPi, which connects to your flight controller via serial port. It also connects to a camera, which you can use as a video transmission source. Another Pi is called Ground Pi, which transmits RC signal to your drone and receives the telemetry data and real-time video stream. You can connect your Ground Pi with most popular ground control systems like Q Ground Station, Mission Planner, and of course their Q OpenHD app. I will put a OpenHD website link in the description so that you can read more detailed instructions. OpenHD is great enough to control your drone, but to make your drone more stable and robust, we definitely need other sensors like GPS, optical flow sensor. I will also try to use ultrasonic sensors and Arduino to build up the optical avoidance feature. Other than that, I also designed features like servo gimbal, leg ex extension for F450 frame, Raspberry Pi camera mount, ultrasonic sensor mount, and so on. I will link all 3D files in the description. That's it, guys. I have briefly introduced my drone design in this episode. In my future episode, I will show you how I assemble my drone and set up the software. Please do subscribe to my channel. It will be fun. Stay tuned.